Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yik and this is Yik's R Us. Today we're going over a pretty insane grocery haul. This is probably the largest grocery haul we have done in months. My kitchen was pretty bare. Well, actually just mostly my fridge was pretty bare as well as we were, we needed to replenish our drink pantry and uh, we found some really incredible deals. So I felt like we should share them with you. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we will be basically feeding 13 people in our household. We typically are a household of four, so we don't normally need all this food. Uh, my parents and my nephew, they do come over a few times a week to eat with us. They, they help me watch the kids so that Nelson, my husband and I, we can work for our full-time jobs. And so I usually allocate enough groceries for them as well. However, my sister-in-law, so Nelson's sister, and them are coming from California to spend two weeks with us. So that's an, another foremost to feed as well as that means my father-in-law and my mother-in-law will be enjoying our yummy 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 food as well so this is to start preparing for that and as well as a final thing it is uh, a long weekend for us coming up this weekend for july 1st it's canada day weekend my cousins invited us down for a barbecue so we got some food to prep for that as well so let's get right into the haul in total, we went to four different places. We went to TNT, Walmart, Food Basic, and No Frills. <laughs> so we did go to four different places, which is actually quite rare for us. I typically like to keep it so that we're only going to really two places, but the deals, they just worked out really well, and it was just a lot of fun. So first off, we're going to start over here. So this is the haul from TNT. At TNT, we spent $76.85. Where I typically always start off my groceries at TNT is in their clearance uh, fruit and uh, vegetable section. So here, we actually found some really great deals. So these are fragrant pears. So in this one for $1.99, there's two fragrant pears, there's three Asian pears, and then there's just a sugar apple, which is my personal favorite fruit. So that for $1.99 is a crazy steal. After that, we found another really great bag here for $1.50, which included three, we call them like green carrots, but I think they're actually more of a radish, and then also one chayote. So that was a decent price as well, because these green radishes have been skyrocketing in price. It used to be like... 30 cents a pound, 39 cents a pound, and now they're like something around the lines of $1.50 a pound where we are. So I was really happy to get these because this makes Ginevra's absolute favorite soup. And I have talked about that soup a couple of times on the channel. If not, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it up here for you. Next week, Nelson found this. This is Nelson's favorite kiwi. These are the golden kiwis. Yeah, the golden kiwis. They're really, really sweet. They're really yummy. Um, They were $2 off, so regular they are about $10, and we got them on sale for $8. So these are super delicious did you know apparently you can eat the kiwi skin i never knew that i i'm still hesitant to try it because i think it's gonna be a weird texture but we might have to try that let me know in the comment section whether or not you eat kiwi skin then we got our staple which is so hoi bak choy these were honestly were the least expensive vegetables there were there were napas but napas typically sometimes they can go down to i've seen them as low as 19 cents a pound but they were a dollar 29 a pound so we were like you know what, let's just stick to our stomach actually these also keep really well in the fridge and the kids really like them so these are the sprouts ones so they're a little bit uh younger um so they're a little less fibrous and they're a little bit sweeter and easier to chew stir fry them boil blanch them so many easy ways to eat those ones this is something new for us this is a type of cantaloupe and it was $3.99 but this one here is called a Tuscan style cantaloupe now it is grown in the U.S. but I've never had them like this before so we're excited to try this one we're going to take this down to the barbecue and share them with our cousins and my mom and my, my dad uh, and experience that together this <laughs> these are Ori mandarins now Nelson's favorite ones are the Israeli ones this one is one uh, ones are grown in Spain and so we did some research on them and apparently you need a I think they said that you need like some sort of licensing in order to grow this particular type of Ori mandarins uh, so we want to try to see if there's any difference between the Israeli kind or this Spanish kind um, so eh, we'll try it and then I guess we'll let you know but yeah this is one of Nelson's favorite fruits these I was really happy to, for it to go on sale. They haven't been on sale in months. I can probably say at least four to five months I haven't seen them on sale. These are um, sweet potato vermicelli 
I sometimes get the really thick ones when I make my um, braised pork and I throw those in. But these are a little bit faster to cook, I find. So we did get the super thin ones and then the slightly thicker ones. These have an incredible amount of chew. They have a really nice mouth feel to them. And so we sometimes we just blanch them and we put them in stir fries like they do. Or I put them into a, a braise to add a little bit of starch to it. But they're really, really delicious. This was a new purchase for us. This is a peach tea, a Japanese style peach tea tea drink. We've never purchased this one before. It's from Vita I, or I think I think the full name is Vita Soy. We usually get their Tetra boxes for like the soy milks and um, the mango drink as well as their iced tea but we've never tried the, the the peach tea so we thought that you know this would be really interesting to try. So we end up getting really thirsty. <laughs> Well, also we tried one of these and I'm telling you guys this is so delicious It's probably one of my new favorite iced tea drinks now. It has like this nice fragrant fruitiness to it but that that clean tea taste and is not overly sweet either so i really really enjoyed it nelson really enjoyed it as well and then the other thing that we bought where to go we bought we bought we bought uh here because we were our groceries was taking so long we ended up buying some a bao or um it's kind of like a sandwich bread from tnt so these are their um clearance Buys. It's like a small mixed bag of six for six dollars. Now it's an it's a good price considering the inflation of everything. Now it used to be a dollar each was the regular price, but now uh, often they're like two to two fifty each. So it was a really great price. So we got these and we just ended up having these for lunch in the car in between grocery shopping because we were all so very 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 hungry. Okay, next thing we also got we also got some tomato on vine. These ones were ninety nine has a pound okay price now the funny thing is i saw these bought these because i thought they were a great price and then i'll have to show you later on the other ones that i found also got three cases of carbonated beverage i love ginger ale or canada dry whenever my tummy feels a little queasy i always reach for this or if we had a heavy meal i again i reach for this i just love ginger ale i mix fruit juices into it i share one with ginevra these are great so they were on sale for two for 10.98 which is actually even cheaper than what we could get them at walmart at t um at the, uh, compared to TNT. So we end up getting two of these from TNT. And then I've never had this before. This is called AHA. And this is like a honey peach sparkling water. And this was for $4.99. Regular was like something like $8. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it. It sounds really interesting. Because my cousin Ivan actually got us on to a sparkling water, flavored sparkling water. And I'm in love with the, um, I think it's like blood orange one. It's just so good, but the, it's a completely different brand. But anyways, I wanted to try this one out, so here it is. Then we found these. Whenever we go to my cousin's place, we always bring cool snacks. So we found something called Yams Crisp. that are made by Lay's. So there's three different flavors. It's a barbecue. You need chips. So there's... I, I can't read Chinese, guys. But I'm, I'm guessing that this is some sort of tomato flavor. This looks like some sort of chicken wing flavor and a cucumber flavor. So maybe it's like cucumber ranch. I don't know. But anyways, there's three of those that we're excited to try. And so all of that, guys, came from TNT. All for the great, great price of $76.85. Not so bad, I think. All right, let's move on to Walmart. Walmart, I'm going to do in two parts. Lots of great goodies from Walmart. We actually spent a lot of time at Walmart. Now, this one here is Lucky Charms. I let you never pick out a special kind of like a treat cereal that she can have once a week if she chooses to, but she has to mix it in with Cheerios or like some other healthier cereal. And so she decided she get Fruit Loops. I was happy because it was on sale. And also there's a coupon inside for a free box of juice. So win, win. Then we're completely out of juices. So we did get, uh, in what, hold on, uh, six, six cartons of these Allen juices. There's the peach cocktail and then also the apple juice. They were 99 cents or something like that. So that was just, you know, just to kind of restock our beverage place. Plus my niece and nephew are going to be coming. So I'm pretty sure they drink juice as well. So there's that. Carrots were full price. The only thing I think we bought at full price this time around. So this was about $3 for three pounds. Yeah, for three pounds. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I mean, it's definitely higher than what it used to be, but I need carrots. I only have two carrots left for my this was an incredible price these are seedless cucumbers 57 cents each can you believe that that's amazing so i like to make this asian style pickly um 
salad with garlic, sesames, and cucumbers. It is so refreshing and so tasty. But we also really like a tomato and cucumber salad that I'm going to be bringing to the barbecue. Plus, I'm going to give a cup to my mom. Did you know we also braise these from so ginger and uh, soy sauce? And it's also really tasty. So we do that. People put it into stir fry sometimes in some Chinese restaurants. I'm not too big of it in stir fries with like meat. I prefer just braised simple on its own. Yeah, I just I don't like the mix of it with meat. That's just me personally. But if you guys have a really great recipe for cucumbers, please do share it in the comment section below. Now, this was the Calorie Wise Miracle Whip. We just got one carton of this because, sorry, one jar of this because it was on sale for $2.97. Regular price is something like $3.50, sorry, $5.50 or so. So barbecue seasons here, need one of those for salads and, you know, stuff, condiment. Um, three things of yogurt. I was excited to see a pineapple yogurt with protein and, and extra fiber. So this has oatmeal in it. So this will just, you know, be a healthy snack or a really easy breakfast. These were on a multi-buy special, three for $8. So that was a really great price. Ba oh, no, I lied. I lied. Totally lied, guys. Sorry, there's a couple more things that we've got bought at regular price. Baby Bell, because Nathaniel just started loving to eat cheese. There were three different size options. And I remember that my nephew um, used to absolutely love eating these when he was young. So we figured, you know what, why not give this a try? So we've got this for Nathaniel, $3.77. I've tried these on Ginevra before. She does not like them. Um, so we got like the what? these cheeses, the round cheese. You don't like these ones. Yeah. So we got these. And then if he likes it, then I'll buy the bigger contain uh, packages of it because that would be a much more economical purchase. But I wanted to make sure he liked it first. So these were three seventy seven. Um, and then the other thing that were full regular price that we bought was milk. So we had to buy two packages of whole milk. As you can see, I already opened one up because, like I said, my fridge was bare, absolutely bare. So I had needed to get some milk for that. We also got four <laughs> pies. Two of these are going to go in the freezer. Two of these are going to go to the barbecue. They were originally something like six dollars, and then we got down to like three forty six. Uh, sorry, three sixty four, which is a really great price. Catelli pastas were also on a really great promotion 97 cents each we got these bigger ones because they're 500 grams so really happy with that price point of that that's six of the fusilli fusilli i don't know how to pronounce it and then these ones are called them scooby-doo but they're like the corkscrew kind so these are really fun to eat so that's that for this section of walmart but in total at walmart we did spend 113 dollars and 94 cents but this is only part a of the walmart haul there's going to be a part b but we're going to jump over to that in a little bit how much dollars did we spend on our food about 260 dollars in total 200 yeah but this is going to last us for a long long time nice. plus it's for a lot of people let's get into the no frills haul no frills haul was super easy super fast in total no frills i spent 15 dollars and 79 cents because at no frills all i end up getting were two things of bread this and this because they were two when you bought uh, there were three ninety eight when you buy two, and then I got three things of cheeses. Now these are five dollars for consumers. However, if you are an Optimum member, you can get it for three ninety seven each. So I got three blocks of cheese because I I use these in a lot for my cooking. And like I said, Nathaniel's starting to eat more cheese now, so I do get slice him up a piece of this every now and then. Also, I've you know, I, I did a mozzarella freeze and I froze the whole block. I was still able to, to shave it. I thought that I wasn't, wouldn't be able to shred it, but I was able to. I just had to make sure I thawed completely. So anyhow, three of that, that's that. I wanted to get mangoes, but I didn't see the mangoes at my particular no frills. Now, for food basic, we also got some more cheese. And in total at food basic, we end up spending $35.42. This was the most expensive thing there. $14.99 for one kilogram of feta cheese which isn't so bad I think it was already four dollars off because originally it was like $18.99 so I was pretty happy with that also eggs have gone up so much in price guys oh my gosh I can't get over how expensive eggs are now they're $2.65 for $12 and that's a good price it used to be like $1.19 was a super cheap price $1.09 was a super cheap price but now $2.65 is a good price for a dozen eggs Oy. But that's okay. That's okay. We need eggs. We use them all the time. So our food budget is definitely increasing. Uh, the final thing we ended up getting was broccoli. Crowns of broccoli like this were 88 cents, which is super duper cheap. Okay, seven. I thought I got eight. But anyways, I got seven heads of crowns of broccoli for 88 cents each. If you 
need to keep them longer, you stick them in a bowl of water, just cut off the end, put them in your fridge, they'll last for weeks. It's pretty amazing. Last section of the haul. Here is the rest of the clearance of produce that I got from Walmart. Now this I am so ridiculously excited about because the amount of money that we saved was insane. I know it looks like there's a lot, but again, 13 people in my household, plus I am giving some of this to my in-laws and I'm giving some of it to my parents. So none of this is ever going to go to waste. I'm also going to freeze some of this, dry some of this, and we're going to eat a lot of it. So I'm definitely excited. So check this out. Like check out the price of this. Two dollars for all these sugar snaps. And they're in such great, like they're really great quality. I actually don't see anything wrong with them. So I was really, really shocked about the price point when I saw it. I got eight packs of these for two dollars each. Now to freeze them's really easy. You just take off the tips, blanch them for about a minute and a half, throw them into some ice water to stop the cooking process for two minutes, and then you spread it out on a sheet pan, stick them in the freezer. As soon as they're frozen, you can put them into a Ziploc bag and they can freeze up to eight months. So this is a little bit last us for a really long time. Ginevra loves these. Nathaniel hasn't tried these yet, but Ginevra definitely loves these because they're sweet, they're crispy, they're just so delicious. So I got a bunch of those and then I got a box of cherry tomatoes. Again, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with them except for the fact that they're loose for $2. Like normally I think a pint is about this much and it goes for about two two fifty now. So in order to like getting all of this for $2.50, I mean $2 is an incredible offer. We also end up getting a huge bag of bananas for $2. Some of them are still green and so it'll take time to ripen and some of these are ready to eat right away. Now we probably won't get through all of them at once. So what we're going to do is the ones that do ripen, I'm going to end up putting, making some banana oatmeal uh, muffins out of, and the kids love those. They make excellent snacks, great little breakfasts as well. And then we also got two bags of these peppers for $2 per bag. Now, to me, this was an incredible offer because last week at my local No Frills, I ended up seeing a pepper for $4. One single pepper for $4. I thought that was insane. So here there's like a total of eight and they're like $4 for eight peppers, which is a really great price. Now, I have recently fallen in love with romesco sauce, which is like a roasted red pepper sauce. It is so delicious with eggs on toast. Oh, it's amazing. Or I can roast these and freeze them or roast them and preserve it or I can uh, try to dry I haven't tried drying it but I've watched that you can dry these and um, they'll keep for a really really long time so I don't have a dehydrator so I'm going to do some research on how to do that and figure that part out but what an incredible saving two also small bags of tomatoes here one is on vine so there's probably about two and a half to three pounds here so that's definitely a really great deal as well as these tomatoes were I think what I saw them um not a TNT but at Walmart I think they're about two dollars a pound so definitely a really great offer again there's really I don't see anything wrong with it except for them maybe they're a little bit softer I can throw these whole into the freezer just like that and when I want to cook them I just put them in some hot water um, after I do a crisscross here and then I put them to ice water and it's such an easy peel it makes for a really easy sauce or making some like really easy tomato soup this was also a fantastic offer here a fantastic deal two dollars for two heads of lettuce well this one is the heads of lettuce here <laughs> two dollars for two heads of lettuce we cook these down like we'll just blanch them and add a little bit of um, oyster sauce or uh, soya sauce to it and it's really delicious it's, I think it's a Cantonese thing that's done and we'll serve it with chicken or we'll serve it with mushrooms um, or we'll even just serve it just like that I know we also you can slice it up really thin and put it in it to your uh, fried rice which is really good Nelson really likes it that way with minced beef and uh, that's another really great way to use it or you can make a salad simple as that right this was also I was excited about this because cauliflower is now expensive so this looks like a really great head of cauliflower I mean it is a little bit smaller but I mean there's like no marks or anything really on it yeah except for like that teeny tiny little bit here I could just chop that part off if I really wanted to and they've been going for like something like two ninety nine to three ninety nine per head of of cauliflower. So I got a head of cauliflower and a small head of lettuce here for two dollars. So it's basically getting discounted cauliflower and a free head of lettuce. So awesome really 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 awesome and so that's it for the haul guys this in total cost about 113 dollars along with the other items over here 
all also from Walmart. So all in all, guys, I am so incredibly happy with the haul. It is a lot of food, but nothing will go to waste. We're really, really good about food waste and like preventing food waste and finding ways to use it up. So I'm sure we will get through everything, especially feeding 13 people over the next little while. So I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Did you have fun shopping, Moy? Yeah. Were you tired though? Yeah. Yeah. That's why we needed the emergency bread and drinks. <laughs> but it was fun, right? And then we got to go into the pool afterwards for a couple of hours, which was really fun too. Yeah, so that's it for the haul, guys. Let me know, how have you been dealing with these skyrocketing prices for groceries? I mean, what we have been doing is really, we've been buying the clearance section, using different and creative ways to preserve it, prolong it, or we bulk buy and share with family. So my parents will bulk buy something, share some with us. We bulk buy some stuff, share with them so that we get a larger quantity, cheaper price for overall like per per unit for the item. So it, it all works out in the end. So that's really what we've been doing. We also shop almost exclusively only sales except for milk. Milk is something that we always, always, always need to have. You know, I have two kids that are growing up and they need their milk. So we always need to buy milk even if that's at full price. But everything else we've been pretty good about finding compromises for or replacements for if it's not at a promotional price. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. See you. Bye.